Hello and welcome to another edition of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me, Mr. Barton. Now, those of you who've been following this Resource of the Week series for the last hour of many six years or whatever, will know I'm a huge fan of helping students develop their key numeracy skills, whether it be times tables or mental addition or mental subtraction. Because of course, unless students are fluent in those, Whenever you try and do problem solving, students' working memories get clogged up with trying to do all the basics that they can't do the problem solving. And then whenever you come to do things like simplifying fractions or ratios, unless they're fluent in those basics, you are literally wasting your time. So that's all well and good, but obviously sometimes just kind of hammering the times tables and hammering the basics can be a little bit on the dull side. So any resource that can help students get more fluent in these basics, but do it in an engaging different way is always gonna go down well with me. So you can imagine my delight when I stumbled across this resource. Practice sheet for times tables, divisions, rounding, addition and subtraction, which has been uploaded by Math Shed. Now, when you download it, it is just a simple Excel file and it looks like this. Now I'll move my annoying head out of the way there. So we can see here, we have got uh, essentially a racetrack. And um, this particular one is for multiplication for the seven times table. Now the idea is very simple. You print this sheet out, you give it to your kids and they fill it out. Now, why is this any better than simply giving them a list of 20, 25 questions? Well, I think it's something about the way it looks. It looks less um, intimidating to the student. It looks slightly more engaging. You can add a degree of competition there if you want. Um, can you get around in 30 seconds or who can get around the fastest and so on? Now, obviously with things like that, you've got to be careful of, of not emphasizing speed ahead of accuracy. But I'm a big fan of these kind of drills. Um, and indeed, uh, I went to listen to, to Danny Quinn, head of maths at Michaela, and I'm going to be interviewing on on my podcast very soon about the benefits of these kind of drills at the starts of lessons and I think that these could be one way of doing it so you've got here uh, one for seven times table then you've got one here if I just click across for uh, mental division using times tables and you often find that that all right you get students who are okay at times tables but then when they have to go the other way go backwards they really struggle but of course this is crucial for when for things like simplifying fractions or, or simplifying ratios or sharing in ratios and so on then we've got rounding so nearest one nearest 10 nearest 100 then we've got some mental subtraction and what's nice about this is you can change the uh, change the boundaries to make it easier or harder and then we've got some mental addition as well and um yeah, I'm just going to put out a couple of little requests here to the author. This is little, to the author. It's a little bit cheeky, this. Um, you can change the times table. It's a little bit fiddly to do. It took me a while to figure out how to do this. You can't actually click on that. I was clicking for ages. But if you just grab this box and move it, you can then click in there. And you can change that to, say, the six times table and click away. And the numbers automatically adjust. And you can do a similar thing for division. And it's quite nice with the division one because it makes sure that all the numbers are in that times table. So if I change it to nine, for example and you click away, you're good to go. So my first kind of request would be just to make that a little bit simpler, just a little kind of random number generator or generate new examples or something would be great. But here's my biggest request, and I feel bad for doing this because the math shed's gone to the trouble of producing this. I'd love some flipping answers. I would absolutely love that um, I could click a button here to generate answers, then all my answers would come, just so it could be really quick and snappily marked. But look, it's, it's only gonna take 30 seconds to fill out the answers. Maybe we can get a kid up to do it and all that kind of thing. Um, so not a big request, but it would be great if it, if it could be done. So um, there they are, revision races. Uh, my advice would be to use those perhaps once a week during your lessons um, and then kind of use at the same time things like Time Step or Rock Stars or any of the wonderful um, other Excel generated stuff that we've looked at on Resource of the Week um, over the years just to, just to mix up um, these different strategies that help kids develop these key numeracy, uh, numeracy skills. Anyway, there you go. So wonderful resource. If you use it, hop back on and uh, add your review here. You'll notice here, one of my TES panel members, Dan Clark. Look at that. Shame the answers do not generate. The crowd are demanding it. I wonder if we can produce it. Anyway, what a wonderful resource. And I'll return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.